Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to go into game one right now between Slayers Ryung against, of course, TSL Put Symbol. Let's go ahead and get into it. Where we meet up on the first map, it is none other than the Belshire Beach Winter. Top left hand corner, we have the blue Zerg. It is none other than TSL Symbol. Bottom right hand corner, we have Slayers Ryung. So let's talk about TVZ on this map a little bit first before we actually blast off into the particular players. Yep. Um, how are you feeling with TVZ on this map? Well, I'm not entirely sure, Andre, because I am neither a Terran nor a Zerg player, but that being said, you know, we have been watching lots of TVZs throughout the Team League and and the sh uh, Sunday Show matches, because obviously uh, Belshire has been the starting map throughout the Sunday Show match series. I think that TVZ is, I don't know, it seems like fairly balanced. And most likely, we are going to see Reactor Hellions come out of Ryung because I know he likes to play a little bit more aggressive and he loves harassing, um, much more so than a lot of other more standard players. Like we actually saw Morrow versus Leenok. Um, they played on this map, TVZ, obviously. Morrow was the Terran. Um, I know, like, for example, Ryung plays a, a lot more aggressively than Morrow would. So I don't know. I think a Reactor Hellion opening from Ryung. I've seen him do that several times before. That was what I would guess. Sure. You know, it's quite interesting. We do have a line format in terms of expansions. You can see and what I mean by that is normally of, um, you know, there's there's two types of expansions really that we see these days. Antigua Shipyard, where it's like there's one in the corner, and then if you defend both your bases, you actually defend the back one. This one in particular, we can see it is a line format. So what it basically does is spreads out your perimeter a lot more as you take additional expansions. It leaves a room for a lot of harass style play to be very successful. But before I actually go into all of that, let's talk about what's going on right now. A proxy, proxy barracks yep. at the Zelnaga Tower. Yep. Directly so on the Zelnaga Tower. Very interesting position. Yeah, so again, this go kind of goes to Ryung's style of being very, very aggressive. And it's something that I think he's very comfortable with. And I think he might be able to get a pretty good amount of damage here because the pool from TSL Symbol is a bit late. Yeah, it'll be a, a matter of identifying what's going on. Symbol needs to see exactly how many units are coming to his base. Yep. If you can see the SCVs or the Marines, then that'll be a clear indication. Yeah. Good for him. He has that one drone over there following the SCV. It's going to see that there are two SCVs over here and a single Marine. So a lot of yep. drones are pulled off. This is the correct number of drones, in my opinion. Now, what he wants to do is actually focus on those Marines and have a couple of drones making sure that they can pick off the one SCV in the back. You do not want that bunker to finish. You can see great micro coming out from Ryung, actually, targeting down the weakened drone. But yep. now, how good is this SEV football? Uh-oh, but now there are four Marines right now, and the bunker is going to complete. Um, but we do see that symbol is making a spine crawler in a pretty good position, so it can't be reached by the Marines right now in the bunker. So Ryung is going to have to dance around with his Marines pretty carefully, but he's doing a pretty good job. He's killed one Ling so far, but this spine crawler is about to finish, and that does outrange the bunker. Yes. So symbol should be okay in this situation. Still, if the bunker goes up, there could be a lot of troubles. You can easily just constantly repair. He doesn't actually have a ton of SEVs out here, so there he yep. goes, sacrificing Zirkington just so that does not stay up. He doesn't want a situation where it's just blowing away at that hatchery, and he's just repairing it. The spine crawler does virtually nothing. And now this bunker basically doesn't do anything. It doesn't really pressure his opponent. I like what he's doing with the Zirklings going around, cutting off any supplies so that, you know, straggling Marines in one, two, things like that won't be any threats. You can see this one Marine will get picked off over here. But two more Marines are going... What's nope. wrong? It's Three going more to Marines. survive. <laughs> and yeah, Ryung is continuing with this pressure, kind of living up to that that high aggression style. We do see a third barracks about to be started in the main base. Gas coming down, as well as a natural... Uh, a second command center being built. And Ryung is continuing with the pressure. The bunker did get taken out, but he does still have six Marines able to apply a little bit of pressure. Although I don't think he can really do too much damage at this point. I think he has to retreat right now. Yeah, you might look at it and say, okay, well, it's a 20 Harvester lead to a 17 Harvester lead. It's actually really bad for Terran right now, it, although it looks like, you know, it's semi-even. The big problem is the tech. The tech for the Zerg is actually considerably higher just because the gas 
the gasser symbol is right there and he doesn't really need too many power hitting things the, there he has a huge range he could be going banelings roaches zerklings or just teching he could just be macroing there's a ton of things that he can do the terran is basically limited to scouting he can't do that much in terms of scouting he can't see if it's a third coming up because Zerklings at this point are going to just completely dominate the space. So he could play a little coin flippy at this point, try to actually go out and push out with mass marines, although it would be very, very unsafe against something like, let's say, Speedling, Baneling. He would be absolutely crushed. So right now, he's in a really tense situation where he doesn't know what to focus on just yet. Meanwhile, Zerg will be able to take the drone lead with those larva inject mechanics. It'll be very useful. Right, now we are seeing that Ryung is setting up a nice little wall here by his natural expansion. He's starting combat shield before, uh, so, sorry, he's getting stim and combat shield at the same time. His command center is landing, so he's going to be able to get that double meals, which will allow him to kind of catch up in the harvester count because, mm -hmm. you know, Symbol is going to be droning up. You can see seven drones about to finish. He's going to be getting way, way up there in his worker count. And, you know, Ryung is going to have to rely on getting using those double mules to kind of even the score there. He does have four barracks, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of unit composition he's planning for. Most likely going to be something fairly standard from this point. Ooh, and Sybil will get up here and see the tech lab on the barracks. And that's one thing I guess I have to be critical. Ryung should have probably put the tech lab back all the way over here. But now that's an instant giveaway that it will be some sort of bio army. From there, a Baneling Nest should go up. He's actually going for two evolution chambers. Not uh, not terrible. I, I, I don't mind that at all. It's a great variation to actually you know, really upgrade your uh, Zerklings to keep them relevant in the game. Uh, but right now, you can see this push out. It's going to be pretty hard to stop, considering Stim and Common Shield is about to finish. And still no Banelings out in the field. This is going to force the Zerg to spend a lot more Larva on ground units or non-drone right. units. Right. right, or making Spine Crawlers, which again sacrifices drones to build those. So Ryung is going to have a pretty potent push right now, because if you look at the army count, there's not that much for Symbol right now. Only 14 Zerglings. Three queens and one spine crawler up right now, so Symbol needs to buy some time to get those additional units out. And Stim is just about to be finished, so Ryung is hitting a nice timing here. Yep, just cutting back all those Zerglings. Zerglings are going to be pushing forward. He wants to back up until the spine crawlers can actually uh, finish. Now, finally, they're finished, but the Zerglings are all gone. This is a really bad position for Symbol. He's going to lose his second queen right here. Yes, he does and the Marines and Marauders will stim again. That'll probably be the end of it. They really can't stim all too much, but if they pick off this one Evolution Chamber, that'll be very good. He, it looks like he will get that uncontested. No Zerglings out in the field. All of a sudden, Symbol is super far behind. You know, that's the one of the big things. I mean, Symbol should be focusing either uh, the Queen or the Evolution Chamber, yeah, but he's actually wow. not. He, didn't, he actually didn't kill either. So I think Symbol caught a little bit. Oh, sorry, Ryung should have been focusing on that. Symbol did catch a little break there. I really love Ryung's unit control in that attack, how he had the Marauders in front of the Marines tanking all the damage. Yes from the Zerglings, and I thought that was really, really clever by Ryung. Yeah, the Evolution Chamber snipe would have been, you know, pretty much the nail in the coffin, I think, yep. uh, for all intents and purposes. Uh, but right now he's going up to Infestation Pit. I really, really feel, considering the situation where you know your opponent is going pretty marine heavy, you've seen the tech lab, you know he's on at least two barracks, he could be going higher. You have to prepare for something like that. What if it was something like an all-in Marine Marauder SCVs? You would right. not be able to defend that at that point. So kind of interesting that Symbol went that route. He was trying to play a little bit more macro intensive, you know, just uh, incorporate that style more so. Assume his opponent wasn't going to do any sort of all-in, but he got caught off guard and he was punished for it uh, pretty, pretty harshly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it just it just uh, a little bit of not being aware of what Ryung's style is and how aggressive of a player he is. And now Ryung is in a really nice advantage. He's actually got his third command center finished. He's probably going to be landing that soon. And Symbol is working on a, on a macro hatch right now. And Ryung is going again for another push out, but he does have medevacs this time. He yeah. scouts out the third. He sees there's no third. So Ryung must be feeling great right now. He kind of feels like he's got control oh, of yeah. the pace of this game very, very well. You know, you mentioned that Ryung is very aggressive, which I have to agree, yes, he is. But what I love about him is he always does aggression behind that he macros up. And right. I think that's the hallmarks of a great player. You know, someone that has the capabilities to 
really do everything. He has good macro, he has good micro, he has that aggression, he has the multitasking to actually keep up with Zerg players. And if you can out multitask a Zerg, that's where you can really start to shine. Now, Infestors are out at this point. That's going to turn the tides of these particular team or team fights, these these big fights. It's just a matter of how well can you get those fungal growths off and can you punish your opponent for not having the required army composition to actually deal with, you know, uh, the Infestors. Yeah. I thought it was kind of inter interesting how Ryung pushed out uh, before the Infestors came up. He actually went all the way up to the natural of Symbol and he killed a spine crawler and then backed off. Mm -hmm. um, that would have been a really good point for Ryung to attack because Symbol actually hadn't had his Infestors out yet. I'm kind of wondering yeah. what the decision was behind retreating there. Now this is a very tough situation for both these players. 2-2 is about to finish, so Symbol really does not want to start engaging on anything until that is done. 1-1 one, one is finished for Ryung, so there is an upgrade advantage for the Zerg player. He can definitely get a lot of time in there if he if his opponent isn't uh, keeping up with upgrades. But Hive Tech isn't up yet, so he will be stuck on 2-2 for quite a long time. This one medevac, can it actually get picked? Oh, yes, it oh. does! Nice job. He's going to drop two Infested Terrans down there. And uh, Continuation Fungal is just going to keep that in place. And there you go. Good one Marine five. does get dropped, but here we go. Oh, God. Nice Fungal Growth goes off. Can he get Continuations? No, it looks like the Zerglings will not be enough. See how fast all of those Zerglings die, just the sheer might of that Terran army. What do we have in the base of Symbol? No additional Zerglings, but 38 are on the way out. And he's looking like he can recover. He's still behind in supply, though. Yeah, he's behind in supply, and he's also behind in economy, although once he gets this third base up, it's going to even out a little bit. But again, um, as a Zerg player, you always want to be ahead of your opponent in the expansions rather than being even. So I'd sure. still put uh, Ryung at an advantage. But uh, that being said, Symbol is actually sneaking some Infestors across the map. He's actually getting into the natural expansion, and there's nothing from Ryung to defend against this, and he's going to be able to drop a lot of Infested Terrans, and he might be able to get some pretty good damage here. Yeah, if Ryung was super careful, he would be able to see what's going on. There is a turret over here in the main where four Infestors are going to be spotted out right now. A big stim comes up here, but here's Infested Terrans going on the natural. In the meantime, these Zerglings are going to be picked off all the way on the left-hand side. There is, it looks like, an eight Marine drop in the back of the third base, so attacks going on all over the place. SDVs are going to be committed to killing these Infested Terrans. In the meantime, those Marines are going to spring to action, start doing a lot of damage. Drones are getting pulled off immediately. It looks like Zerglings will get over there. The eight Marines pick up. Will they go somewhere else? Most likely the Infested Terrans are going to, or Infestors, are going to be scanned and picked off in the bottom right-hand corner. And just absolute madness. Attacks going on all over the place, and both these players are playing as if they have complete control on all of the game. Really nicely played. Yep, and actually Ryung is moving across the map while doing this. He's actually setting up for a really nice position right here. He's going to slowly elevate her up into the main base of Symbol. And actually, during that attack, Symbol killed 10 SCVs, which is actually a lot less, I'm sure, than, than he was hoping for. Ryung needs to be a little bit careful with these Marines up at the side. Oh, and here we go. It looks like Zerkings are going to swing in from the right-hand side, but they need to deal with this. The Hive is going down. He needs to do something very, very fast. 300 health, 200 health, and it will go down. Yes, it will. That's a pretty big hit, considering that he was not able to get any hive tech structures off right there. Infested Terrans are going to pop down, uh, but everything gets cleaned up. Ryung is playing great, man. Even with... No, there is no upgrade advantage at this point. 2-2 two, two, oh. and 2-2 two, two for both of these players. 3-3 three, three is on the way. Of course, plus 3 attack. And there it is. GG comes out from Symbol. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first winner. Yep. Ryung will played be that Ryung. very yeah. well. Very, very nicely. Of course, he did get an advantage in that early game stage with those Stim, Marines, and Marauders. Going into the natural, he was able to pick off a lot. Even though he didn't kill the Evolution Chamber, he was able to kill so many units, two Queens, and a couple of drones here and there. Yeah. But that just carried his advantage it did. all the way into that, yeah. that mid-game He took stage, advantage yeah. of Symbol being a little bit greedy. And again, as you mentioned earlier, the great thing about Ryung there is like while he's being very aggressive, you know, he was teching. Because the first push, he just had he had a really good timing with Stim and Combat Field mm -hmm. finishing. Combat Shield, I mean. And while he was doing that, he got his factory, he got a starport, so that his second push came yes. out with two medevacs. And while the second push came, 
he was taking his third. So he's like very, very calculated in what he was doing, and he really took advantage of Symbol being a little bit greedier in the early game and kind of not anticipating what yeah. Young's style would be. You know, I think Symbol just... Okay, when, when I'm in the Zerg's position there, what you're thinking is I just saw two barracks pressure, I kind of shut it down, I've shown a lot of Zerglings throughout this game, so I've shown kind of the ability to mass up very easily. If I start with a high number of Zerglings, then it's very easy for me to transition to something like Banelings or right. mass Zerglings as well. So any pressure, it's kind of a less probable that it'll come. Marines and Marauders particularly, because I've gone for such a Zergling heavy opening. Well, Ryung went for that Marine heavy opening. You saw a very clear narrative with those two evolution chambers that shows I'm going to prepare for later on. The 1-1 one -one doesn't hit until, what is that, 160 seconds after it actually is initiated. That's a pretty large time investment. You know, yeah. You're looking at almost three minutes. So that's one of the key things. You saw Symbol that whole time being very future-oriented rather than trying to deal with what my opponent is capable of right now. And Symbol, uh, you know, paid the price dearly. And Definitely. he just was behind the whole game. So really nice play from both these players. I have to say, Ryung just playing ever so slightly better. We're going to go into game two, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see where Symbol actually takes us on the map. Join us. We'll be back after this break.